are you excited? Yeah, definitely. Why are you so excited? Why? <laughs> Get to see my dear old friend Liz. This is the best part of the day, yeah. Yeah, I think he's blessing my life and and he's just a great person and I like him a lot, love him a lot. Thunderstorms last night. I heard a lot of thunderstorms. Yeah, me too. It's just lightning and stuff. Yeah, I heard was it and rain too, a little bit. Yeah. It rained in that, mm -hmm. yeah. When they met in boarding school, they, you know, what started as a friendship eventually became uh, more of a relationship. And um, once they finished with boarding school, Liz eventually moved back to Richmond to be closer to her family. Lewis was in Connecticut at the time. Uh, he had joined another program. Um, and they still formulated that relationship through either phone or email. Um, and Hope Tree would also set up uh, Transportation to actually have date days uh, upstate. Um, I think they met actually a couple times in New York with his mom. Um, so they set up a couple of date days to where Liz was able to actually go up to see Lewis. And occasionally Lewis would actually come down to Richmond too. She makes, she makes the world special for me, with blessing. We sometimes take food from different restaurants, uh, like Jersey Mike's, Boy Chicks, uh, Cracker Barrel. You know, we, we, we usually take it back to the house and then we watch DVDs, listen to music and stuff like that. I have come from a background also of working at a day support program and you know you usually see relationships kind of fluctuate you know from you know they'll they'll be with a person for a couple months and then they'll kind of uh, meet another individual that they'll kind of formulate a relationship for a couple months so to see this special bond that Lewis and Liz have for almost 30 years I've never seen it before so it's it's amazing to see Good. Oh my goodness. Got it. Oh, bingo. Where, where? Well, they started their relationship through, you know, through boarding school, which kind of happened on their own through kind of meeting through school. But once Liz, you know, came back to Richmond, had Hope Tree not been in the picture, you know, with residential being able to help her facilitate the, uh, you know, the transportation to go see Lewis, you know, upstate New York or in Connecticut, um, I feel like a lot of those activities or events might not have taken place. It's good to have um, some support and uh, like, um, you know, like keeping a clean apartment. <laughs> have I pay the bills and stuff, that good stuff. And then for me in the group home uh, setting, it's like, it's like I need help doing different things. I can do most of the things by myself. But uh, the staff so supportive of me and I like that. They, they, they like me a lot between you know Lewis and Liz having that special relationship you know with being in love and being able to see each other you know I think is what everyone uh, naturally would want you know um, you know it's what I've wanted as a you know human being you know being in love and having kids and be able to live the most independent life that you can I mean I, I feel like that's what you know Hope Tree services are all about. No, I see and it makes my happy face smile. Put a smile on my face. You, you, you only have like a certain amount of friends you get in a lifetime. She's, she's that special friend. She's, she's a great, great, great friend, great girlfriend, and I'm blessed to have her in my life.